Okay. So welcome there to that tournament. Uh, that took some time to uh, to set up the game because uh, it's the first one and the player may not be used to. So we have eight player in that tournament and the time control is uh, 15 minutes and um, thir three, three uh, periods of uh, 30 seconds by Yomi. And as you can see there's eight player, not so much, but there are player from uh, all Europe and even from uh, Mongolia. So we will be following uh, mainly the game between uh, the German player uh, Fabian and the Polish player Ada Adam. And I will be uh, commenting this game, but at the same time, and uh, you can see uh, in the overlay, there is uh, Italy uh, against Hungary, France against Russia, and uh, we are uh, with a computer in that tournament. So uh, there is a level 4 computer, that's not uh, the best level, but it's like uh, better than simply uh, waiting for uh, a round. So I will be streaming during the morning and we have also three rounds this afternoon. Alright, so... Here, uh, the blue player uh, who is uh, a bit messed up, uh, who is uh, Adam, went for uh, inner elephants and the same for um, Fabian. And uh, I couldn't follow from the beginning, so I will uh, simply uh, restart the moves. Okay, opening with the knight, both knights. Bringing the cannon here, the idea is to bring the other cannon to the center, simply uh, giving some space, taking the center with the cannon. And here the idea of this move is to uh, exchange the rook, because once the rook are exchanged, what's remaining is a rook that is not free against a rook that is free, so that's better for in terms of activity of pieces. After that, pawn check, cannon uh, blocks the king, elephant in order to, to threaten and gain some space, and here as we said uh, the pawn protects uh, here and suggests to exchange the rook and the rook is our exchange and right now we are uh, at the the timing of the of the game so red goes for um, another elephant to the to the side in order to put more pressure here and blue uh, simply uh, defense both player they hadn't uh, right now uh, hidden their king. They are still um, without uh, the king in the last uh, row and uh, waiting for that. Yeah, there is a. So here are some ideas to gain space for red maybe to uh, uncover that uh, to gate, but another possibility is to hide the king before. I uh, There is a live chat, but the live chat doesn't appear on the overlay because there is a, <coughs> uh, a delay between the games that is actually playing and the stream, so that uh, players uh, don't have a look uh, at the stream and uh, that they don't have the right to do so but still that's uh, better to do so okay I'm simply having a look at the other games and everything works fine so we also have Antonio from Italia playing against uh, Timea from uh, uh, Hungary 
and uh, she's the only uh, female player we have in the European Jangi Federation. She was there at the European Championship in uh, in October, so the, that's good. Uh, here there is already a, a strong advantage for uh, Antonio. I think he did for a kind of a, a rook trap like this and got an extra rook. Uh, but Antonio is uh, strong and uh, Timea is uh, not so much into uh, Korean chess. She plays uh, other variants, but she's discovering and that's uh, very brave to, to join the tournament. And we have also Simon, so my brother from France, who is playing against uh, Dimitri from uh, Russia. Um, here the score is balanced, yeah, 73 and a half points and for 72. But uh, I would say some weakness in the pawn structure of uh, blue, and there may be uh, more pressure on elephants coming, but the game is uh, going on. And the last game we have is the player from uh, Mongolia who is playing against the uh, the bot level 4 and it seems that uh, the bot uh, was able to win a knight so the bot does mistakes and sometimes uh, forget moves and uh, the, the rook can take back the cannon but still uh, the game is not so efficient but the mm, the rooks of the bot are not active at all, while the rooks of uh, uh, hot combat are very uh, active, so that's not uh, a big deal, and I think he will uh, win that game. So I met him at the World Championship, he's not a pro, pro player, but he's very uh, active and uh, he's uh, promoting chess, Western chess in uh, South Korea a lot. Mm, so back to our main game, and we'll uh, see what's going on. So we were stopped at that situation here at the pawn. Oops, okay. Hiding the king, bringing the knight in the center. The idea is to uh, threaten a kind of fork and the only solution to avoid that fork is to bring the pawn but what bring this pawn? there is a, a free pawn here sorry that's a, a lot of arrows mm, but what was played was pawn push in order to uh, get some space and also to prevent the knight to come here and blue also decide to, uh, to push and now the, the fortress for um, red is uh, secured still uh, a lot of time uh, remaining so uh, in european timing the game begin at uh, 10 o'clock uh, 10 and uh, 25 minutes so whatever happens because there is the bioyomi i will stop the game uh, one hour after and pound points will be counted these are the tournaments rule that uh, brain tv and the korean uh, changi federation uh, adopt in their tournament this the same time control and stopping the game uh, one hour after. <coughs> so there is, um, as we said, an activity lead for the blue and is pushing in that era and the rook uh, may be able to, to join the fight at some point but still the, the king is not uh, hidden yet but the game is um, for now uh, balanced there's no uh, clear advantage here and there's a lot of possibility to, uh, to try and see and follow the cannon will go to the center maybe this elephant is a bit weak, but in Korean chess the elephants can jump very far and very quickly, so there's no need to be afraid to have uh, elephants that uh, hang uh, in the side, because uh, they they quickly uh, do a, a good job. I mean, I mean, if the pawns here are, are not there anymore, the elephant can very quickly join the game. 
So the knight here is a uh, sorry. The knight is on the border because uh, of the rook exchange before, and at some point this knight will also uh, come back to the center for better activity. This tournament is uh, organized by the uh, European Changi Federation and I am simply doing the, the referee and part of the organization. And uh, there is uh, Antonio, the Italian player who is the chairman of uh, the European Changi Federation. And there is the, um, Dimitri from Russia who is a deputy or vice chairman. Uh, but I didn't I'm not on the very board of the European Federation, but I'm uh, giving a hand and uh, we could together organize that. And uh, I thought that uh, streaming would be uh, good to uh, get to know and uh, maybe better I will play uh, another one. So on the left on the overlay you can see that everyone has zero points because uh, the rule adopted are that one victory if you win by uh, checkmate, by... Uh, uh, with res resignation or uh, with the time time control, in that case the victory wins seven points, and uh, if you lose this way, you earn zero points. But in Korean chess, there is other way to finish the game. It could be uh, if the king opposes for more than one move, that's called pick chang, and in that case the game stops and we count points. There could be also a situation where uh, there is not enough material to checkmate and in that case we also count points and there is a last case if the game reaches one hour we also stop and count points and if a game is won because of point counting the victory earns four points and the defeat earns uh, two points so even when you are in a losing situation it's not a good idea to resign unless it's completely dead, but you still can try to fight to, uh, to win two points, and that's something I, I like in, uh, in that game. So the tournament will be seven rounds and every player uh, will uh, meet every player's. Uh, we can see that the time uh, is not really balanced. Uh, Adam has uh, not uh, used so much of his time, while uh, Fabian is uh, a bit more in the reflection. And I don't know how players behave in uh, Bioyomi, so that's the, the period when there is only uh, 30 seconds left. But that, that can make a difference. Uh, time management is also something important, but it's also important to involve a lot of time in the very opening because that's here where the, the game is uh, actually happening. At, um, the strategy for blue and red is a bit different because red begins with a bonus of points, so Blue has to go for an attack at some points because if both players wait, in that case, uh, red will be winning because of the points. So here, uh, blue is a bit more aggressive with with those bones, and it will probably try to uh, use the the majority of pawn. And since there is no rook on that side of the board. Uh, a pawn can be very annoying if you reach those kind of uh, squares. But the difference is that uh, the king is still a bit exposed while this king is hidden. In those situations when there is a guard, or I mean a piece, a king and a rook aligned, if blue are able to bring a cannon here in that square, that does a check that actually wins the rook. Here it's not possible, but that's uh, an idea to uh, to keep in mind. That sometimes uh, bringing cannons uh, here like that, or I don't know, that's a way to win a, a rook, and that's uh, not very uh, <laughs> good when it happens. So we'll have a look to our other games. Right, 
so here there's a discovery check that is played. And yeah, it's beginning to be quite complicated because the discovery check oh, sorry. Discovery check threatens to win the other rook with the elephant. And it seems that it will be a, a win by checkmate at some point for um, for Antonio. Um, I cannot really consider moves if you write in the chat because there is a delay between the position you see at the screen and the, the position uh, that I see at the screen. So I, I cannot comment back uh, the moves idea. All right, now Simon against Dimitri. The situation has not moved so far. Blue is a bit yeah, pushing pawns. When the pawn are too close to the Elephant, it can be weak for the elephant because they, they are very vulnerable to those kind of push. Here the, the rook is uh, doing the job, but uh, maybe um, blue will try to uh, exchange the rooks. Still there is, uh, there is some uh, pressure here. Okay, and um, I have the, the information that uh, the Mongolian player uh, won against uh, the bot level 4. I'm simply answering. And I'm not sure the, the game can be uh, spectated anymore. No, the, the game is uh, not there. So back to our main game and what have been played yep. so king here okay we were at that point push push pawn takes now blue is hiding the king and uh, yeah red is uh, Preventing the the rook from uh, joining the the game there by taking back the file and um, hmm. and blue are defending with the elephant. So the elephant here was threatening a knight, and the knight is not protected anymore. But we may think about uh, uh, a combination there, like cannon here that's threatening a rook, and also now the elephant threatened the cannons, but still uh, that's losing material for blue. Yeah, but that will be a, a knight against a guard, and there is no so strong counter part for um, blue so um, I think now red has a, a small advantage because uh, the knights will enter the game at some point and blue will be uh, kind of stuck we could think that um, here it could be a, a threat but it's not uh, such a big threat because the, the cannon can uh, come back uh, quickly into the game. Ok, 
a elephant takes cannons. That was the the idea of the combination. And now the diff yeah, there is a, a three and a half gap uh, of points. And the time is uh, more and more close to the um, to the Bayoyomi uh, period. Here, don't forget that uh, the elephant is pinned by the cannon. We could think about uh, bringing uh, both elephants because that's uh, one extra uh, point, and also that leaves uh, red with a bad uh, bone structure. But here, this elephant is a uh, because of the cannon, so that's not on the table yet. The idea could be to give some activation to that rook. You can see that in that part of the board there is no uh, linked pawn, like here. So maybe uh, doing moves like this is good because rook are good to attack is isolated pawns. And for example, if the if the rooks reach here, uh, I mean here the elephant can take, but if the elephant is not here and the rook provides a, a check like this, it's also a way to win a rook. So I would uh, definitely uh, bring that piece into action because it has a lot of potential and that would also unpin the elephant. But right now it's red to play. And what are the idea for red? The idea should be also to activate that rook, but that's a bit less straightforward. And the idea could be to go here, but here the the, the square is controlled. So probably uh, red will sacrifice an elephant that's only a point down, since there is an advantage. And once the pawn will take back, the rook uh, will be able to uh, to go into uh, into the play, or even to uh, to go here. And I am hearing the news that uh, Antonio wins against uh, Timea. Yep. So we still have um, Dimitri against Simon. And now the rooks are both cooperating in that side. The score is a bit better I think okay there's an elephant and he didn't took back the pawn here he went for pawn there um, yeah because here this pawn is not protected and this pawn is quite important because it is giving support to the knight So blue will be now a bit in a struggle of a time in Bayoyomi period, and red is having definitely having the initiative. And the knight is uh, trapped, as you can see. Maybe the best is to take the elephant, but the risk is that the cannon can't take back. Uh, I'm not... Uh... Okay, so Brew prefers to give a cannon and keep the knight. That knight is in a good position and no pawn will uh, ever be uh, uh, annoying again to keep the the attack and he will probably uh, take the pawn and get some uh, activity for the rooks. Still, it's not enough to uh, to attack the king only with the rooks, even if they are on uh, both sides of the board. And the elephant, uh, this elephant will be uh, probably very annoying at some point. And there is no support to uh, push the pawn and uh, gain the center here. 
so that will be very complicated for uh, for blue but um, Dimitri I think he finished four or five at the European uh, championship and uh, my brother is uh, like not so much playing so I think he did uh, still a, a good performance here All right, what do we have here? Let's back a few moves. So indeed the rook was activated. Uh, kings go to the center. That's maybe to avoid the, that rook trap I talked about. Rook activation here. Elephant sacrifice. Pawn takes. Knight here. The idea is to protect the pawn. Elephant sacrifice since it's not pinned anymore. Double take. And what good here is that this elephant is um, defending the, the pawn there. Sorry. It's defending the pawn from the attack of the knight. But the little problem is that uh, red can simply uh, remove the elephant. So here that's cannon check in that uh, offensive, but maybe the cannon uh, would prefer to, to stay in defense. And here the mistake would have been to bring the guard, because once you bring the guard here, you are sacrificing yourself, because the rook goes here, and uh, there is uh, plenty of uh, nasty moves after that. So the, the only solution was indeed to uh, come back to the center with the king, and rook check here if the king uh, leaves the row it's uh, a gift of rook so there is only one solution and the board are now a bit splitted but it would have been great for red to have a, a cannon here on one of those files to put some more pressure still it will be um, not so easy. The problem is that pawn here was good to remove the elephant, but if the pawn leaves, then uh, the sorry the cannon cannot come uh, back to uh, to help, or more precisely, back to that uh, position. And be careful because the knight here and the guard are pinned, so that may give some ideas, like for example this pawn here is not defended and blue is now taking back the lead I wasn't really convinced about a cannon check here I would have preferred to uh, unpin the knight and give uh, more play after that. Uh, rook check here doesn't work because there is uh, an elephant hidden. And here there is still the fact that uh, those pieces are uh, aligned. And that kind of uh, gives some. Uh, yeah, troubles, but the, the knight will probably go back to the center. Right now the rook is threatened since uh, there's no pinning anymore. So red have to be uh, careful about that. And I will have a look at the game. To see... So it looks like the elephant red elephant was sacrificed and uh, oof. blue is like uh, 25 points behind uh, there may have been a, a combination here let me have a look okay we sacrifice the cannon the knight back to threaten the rook cannon takes is a bit dangerous because uh, yeah and directly the the punishment double threat and losing this cannon is uh, not very uh, great rook exchange and knight takes rook there 
so red could have been for exchanging the rook and simply wait oh, and uh, the game is uh, just over right now cannon checkmate oh that's a very fancy checkmate because uh, <laughs> Knight in the center of the forest is often very weak. The knight cannot come here because the both guards block. So that's a, a nice checkmate, and we are back to our only game. Let's go here. So those are uh, three wins by checkmate. No win by point counting or uh, by Yomi. Let me see what happens. It's a fork. And here, uh, that would have been a winning move for uh, Blue. He missed that the elephant was actually protecting the knight. So he decided to go for the elephant, but lose the cannon at the center. And now it will be uh, way more complicated. I'm not sure this game will end in a checkmate, but probably in a point countings. But still, uh, if you hang a pawn or something, that may uh, cost you the game. And as we can see, uh, cannon in end games are often not the best, especially when you have only one guard in your fortress because cannon needs uh, pieces to jump uh, to, to, to have some play and here there is like not so much remaining uh, we can think about a combination like this knight here that does a check because of the cannon and there is uh, only two possibility bringing the knight which can actually work or going there but if the king goes there, then it's rook check, and the knight here is uh, hanging. So, I have to talk with uh, the player. Yeah, as we said, the rook check and the knight is out. And there won't be a, a working combination because rook here, pawn here, and if elephant check, but those check like this simply uh, move uh, away. So blue would really love to uh, link those pawns, but they are quite far one from another, and the problem is that uh, there is a oh, there is an elephant that will be uh, lost, and that will be in the final a cannon against two pawns, and the two pawns may do the difference if uh, everything goes smooth but I'm not sure uh, blue will be able to uh, save so easily the, the two pawns here the idea uh, for the cannon is to uh, to get some play like to to control uh, those three squares with the cannon in order to break the mobility and try uh, a back rank uh, 
uh, checkmate kind of rook check is, is not uh, really uh, useful rook check doesn't work because the rook is there controlling and now uh, yeah blue will be losing this guard and once you don't have anything left in the fortress it's complicated as we saw in puzzle often if you just bring the rook there if it's protected by something else that's checkmate so there is not plenty of solution mm. if red exchanges it will be a kind of material insufficiency Still, the, the game will uh, continue at some point. Red prefers to keep its active rook and try to grab a few pawns uh, before exchanging, probably. Like a uh, rook here. Those kind of moves. Or even cannon there in order to come back here may bring some uh, ideas yeah that's uh, the same because uh, even if there are only one guard the, the rook cannot uh, go and check it needs at least two move so cannon here does not check careful therefore mm, red will probably move the rook somewhere Okay, I would have gone for uh, this square in order to threaten the pawn. If pawn push, rook push, and if pawn push, sorry, uh, then you can threaten both. While there, uh, you are creating uh, even more. Uh, okay, sorry, uh, even more uh, distance with pawns. Ay ay ay. Yeah, that's the the mistake. That's a, a pattern to pin a rook with a cannon. If both are aligned, the king and the rook, and there is only one piece, you can simply bring a cannon and the rook cannot bring. So... Uh, that's a victory because of... A, a king opposition so that's only a big chunk situation so that will be four points for Fabians and uh, two points for uh, Adam uh, I will simply um, prepare the second round so uh, stay here and uh, we'll back soon